Good day, all you beautiful people. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I spent the last week with my family. It was great, but you know what? Now it's time to get to work. So let's get on with our tutorial. Let's create our little pad down here. We want this to stick to a Lego block after all. Click on the base. And of course, we want to sketch on it. And now we want to draw a box. Let's give it some dimensions. So I'm just going to give it a horizontal distance here of 4.8 millimeters. Now, there's a constraint here that we've never used before. And this is the equal distance one. So let's click here, click this line, click this line. And now these two lines are basically joined at the hip. Now, if I take this one and I change it, so let's say eight millimeters, 8.8 millimeters, you can see that my box changes the whole shape. Hit Control Z just to put it back. And you know what? That's a pretty good one too. It keeps your drawings really nice and clean. You just have to remember which one it is. And you can see it right here. Or if you go down here, that we have an equal constraint. And when you click on it, it will highlight both of these in green. So now you might notice that our origin is not centered to our box. So we can't just use the equal distance command to fix it. But you know what? I have a pretty good trick for this. And of course, we're going to need our friends construction lines. So let's just draw a horizontal line here or a vertical line. What I want to do is do a horizontal constraint. Go into my formula mode. And I know that the width here is 7.86. I also know that our circle which is the center of this is seven. So we could just try this and see it's set it up. Let me just move that measurement so it makes it easier to see. But that still doesn't look in the middle. Always trust your eye. Looks like this is equal. It looks like this is equal. So we want to split the difference. So for that, we just have to divide by two. Go back into our formula. And of course, divide by two and we can see it update. And look at that. Why did it do that? Because of order of operations. And there you go. Now we're half. So we're, uh, we're 4.3, 8.6. Click OK, click OK. Check that out. That looks dead on in the middle. I like that. Now we can give it a symmetric constraint. Let's go here, this guy, this guy to the middle. And let's go this guy and this guy to our created line. Look at that. And of course, it looks great by eye, but if you really wanted to make sure that this is all good, you could click on this command right here to bring a linked edge in. Click here, click here. You see these two purple edges and they're linked to the other drawing. Now that we have that, we can simply add some click here to change this to blue and our reference geometry. We can now put a measurement here and here, a measurement here and here. And look at that. We are now perfect. Good to go. I really like that. And of course, if you wanted to check the height, we could just use our vertical. Click here. Select these two. And now look at that. It is a beautiful thing. We're equal. We're equal. And of course, we when we close this up, it's just a nice, perfect box. So of course, you know what's next? Let's do a pocket. Now we'll have to pocket this up and we'll need a dimensions and of course we don't want to go that far look at that that's that's ridiculous that's crazy so what do you think we need how about 2.2 and look at that we got our cutout if you look at our lego man model we actually have a cut that runs all the way internally here so let's try to create that if i click on this here on the surface and create a sketch and we're down here. Now, here's an interesting point. I kind of want this to be the same size as this. 
So we can bring in this feature. Let's do that first. So we're going to click on here, create an edge. So as you may notice, we or you can't see that purple line that we just drew. So of course, we can click this button here. And as you can see, once again, it will cut out and give us a nice little area just for our viewing, right? We don't actually put that cut into our model. We're just kind of hiding it from view. And we can hit that button here to center our view again to make it easy on us. So let's add a square, click here, click here. And of course, I want these two points to be joined up. So I'll show you something that happens sometimes with this. I really want that line and that line to join together. And when I click on this here and here, it tells me that I have redundant constraints and so on. I can always click auto update and go OK, but it doesn't always fix the issue. But there's an option here called select redundant constraints. So if I click on that, it tells me that my horizontal constraint is not needed. So let's click here and delete him. And look at that. We're back in business. So that's a really cool way of doing that. There's also a select conflicting constraints option here. The next thing I want to add, of course, is this length right here. So let's pick our horizontal. Go from here to here. And from my measurements, that's 3.18. Beautiful. So let's close this up. And of course, let's create a pocket. So this pocket here, when I measured it with my calipers, it was 8.96 millimeters. Now, the issue is that it was 8.6 millimeters from this face right here. So if you remember, we have our distance here. So you know what? Let's use a cool trick that I can show you. And we'll have to, of course, subtract a measurement. But we remember that that cutout was this pocket right here pocket one so i can actually say pocket one right there dot length and as you can see it will automatically subtract the distance of that pocket and look we got a nice pocket going all the way down isn't that beautiful so what do you guys think about the content shift do you like having more shorter videos throughout the week or just go with one long video. Put a comment down below. The channel has seen more growth than I ever thought I would get. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you very much for your support. And like always, stay smart, stay safe.